Hey there, Aries. I hope you're doing well. Um, I want you to see this real quick. I hope it'll focus on it there. Uh, let me turn my brightness down and see if it'll do it. It's 444. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that, but welcome. I hope you're doing well. Um, this is going to be your general weekly reading for January the 3rd through the 9th. So let's go ahead and get started for you here. Um, I do have personal open. The information is down in the description box. So let's go ahead and start. All right, Ace of Wands. I like that. I like that. What else do we have here for my Aries people? What else do we have for Aries? Five of Swords. Uh-oh, okay. Good. I like the Six of Wands. I like the Justice card. Six of Pentacles is okay sometimes. You got three sixes here. Not a terrible thing. I don't want you to think that's a terrible thing. Sixes can talk about transition for movement, uh, giving, kindness, generosity, compassion. You have the Queen of Swords as your overall energy here. Uh, so we got a Libra card, okay? Um, I think that you're wanting to accept something that's coming in here, but it's hard for you to do that because you don't know the full truth of it. Um, you know, you're wanting the truth in a situation. Like, you're just getting a lot of... Um, how do I explain that there? It's like you're... I, I think this is a person approaching you with a lot of passion, but you're not getting a whole lot of talk. Like, you're not getting, um, you know, deep intellectual conversation here, Aries. Like, that's the kind of energy I feel. Not sure if you have a lot of air in your chart uh, or what's going on with that, but uh, what's happening with that Ace of Wands? Now, uh, excuse me. Some of you, I feel like... I feel a really youthful energy with that Ace of Wands and the Queen of Swords, truly. I feel like there is like a... Um, like there's a new truth here of yours that's allowing for this Ace of Wands to even be presented to you. So what's happening there with that. King of Pentacles. It could be a new truth you're developing about money. I think you have a new relationship with money or a new relationship with um, work. Like you see the value in your work or in something that you do here. It's possible that it's like you see something that you can do. You see your own potential. Um, this could also be that your relationship changing, like the way that you see your value. So um, I think that's something else that's going on here. What else is happening with that Ace of Wands? I think there are a lot of new and exciting things that you're trying to accomplish here, but there's not enough time or you feel like there's a lot to get through here or you feel like it's not it's not the right time in the world. So uh, some of you, this could involve a move. Like you're wanting to move somewhere here. What's going on with this energy? Also, I feel like, again, there's like someone here who's stressing you out. You just don't really align with them. Um, they can't slow down. Like that's the best way I can describe that Aries. They can't, they, they, they don't, they don't know how to slow down. Um, some of you are like, yeah, that's you. <laughs> Cause I talk so fast, but yeah. Um, you, they, there's somebody you're in alignment with here who just can't, they can't slow down long enough to truly connect. You know, um, they're, they're constantly wanting to, to do things, right? I'm trying to keep it PG, but, um, it could be that, it could also just be that uh, they're, they're just too much. You know, they're just too much. That's the energy that I feel here. You can't take it slow the way that you want to. Um, so, yeah, you got the five. Like, they're just making you uncomfortable. You got the five of swords here. So, I see you maybe cutting that person out. It's possible that that's the very beginning of a connection. You may just completely stop it entirely without the whole goodbye. Um, three of wands to clarify the five of swords. Somebody here could have uh, Venus and Aquarius. Queen of Swords, okay. I think a huge truth about the past is going to come out. Like, this is something that's been bottled up. That's why I think it's such a big truth here. It's being communicated. Um, somebody was really hurt by something here, and I don't think they ever expressed that. This could be you. Um, but yeah, the Five of Swords, it's like somebody's looking back on something. It, the reason it could be that it wasn't expressed is because somebody may not have realized how it affected them or how badly it affected them or how badly it hurt them. Maybe somebody is finally observing their own habits, Seven of Pentacles, evaluation, uh, just seeing, you know, their their own values, like how, I, how they do things, you know? They're like, how do I do things and where does that come from? That's kind of what they're asking themselves here. Again, this could be you. You could be asking yourself, you know, how did I get here, right? Um, I think that whoever this is is trying to be honest with themselves. So there is a conversation happening. Um, 
uh, about something really touchy. So I don't know what that is, but um, this could definitely be you. It could be someone else. But I do feel like something is just all of a sudden coming out here, okay? Because somebody's really desperate to heal it and get it off their chest. So that Three of Wands, they're sending that out. Like They're, they're expressing it to try to send it away um, is the best way I can describe that energy here. You have the Six of Wands showing up next. Jupiter and Leo. What's going on with that? There's a lot of blue and gray here. Um, I think that you move out of this state. I don't really want to call it indifference, but just like trying not to uh, be so in touch with emotions here to just like not having a choice. That's kind of the vibe that I get. Like you have to feel them here. I did see the devil, but I'm not taking him because there's so many underneath that. It's crazy. Um, I do think there's recognition of a heartbreak. What else? And there's growth and expansion from recognizing that. Five of Pentacles. Recognition of abandonment. Yeah. Um, now, I do feel like this energy could have been recent for a small portion of you. Like there was like a... Um, an energy, like there was a situation where you could have been neglected, left out in the cold, just heartbroken in general, right? And, uh, you know, I think the Six of Wands is you being able to celebrate leaving that energy behind. It's like they're, they're telling two different parts of your life here is basically how I feel. Um, it's like there's a lot that you've put behind you, but you're looking back and you're saying, you know, this affected me in these ways. And, you know, you have the Six of Wands here and the Ten of Cups. So it's like, you're happy now. I think you're moving to a really happy place. Um, you know, you're already happy for the most part, but I think that a lot's being added to that. And I think that you're just seeing how far you've come here. Um, and for a lot of you, you're seeing that your work isn't necessarily done in regards to your healing journey. You have the Justice card here, Libra energy. You guys always get Libra showing up for you. What's going on with Justice for my Aries people? Knight of Cups. This could be an apology here. Ace of Swords. Clarity. Wow. Six of Swords. This allows you to move on, Aries. Yeah, that allows you to move on. It's like this is like the, the Knight of Cups. This is something you've envisioned here, but you never you never actually saw it happening in reality. But the Justice card, somebody's giving you an apology here. Like they're, you're able to understand. You know, that Ace of Swords, it's like... There's clarity on why something went down the way that it did. Somebody could be explaining to you their own journey. You know, something that they have gone through that caused them to react in this in this manner is basically how I feel. Um, and the Justice card, that's them actually communicating that to you. I will say it doesn't feel like that romantic interest. It doesn't. It feels like this could be uh, family. That's how that feels to me. It doesn't have to be, but it does feel that way. You have the Six of Pentacles, Moon in Taurus, Moon in Libra. What's happening with that? What's happening with the Six of Pentacles for Aries? What's happening with the Six of... Okay. Judgment. The world. Two of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to share a life with you is the energy that I feel here. But it's like they, they want to grow and expand with you with the Will of Fortune here, Aries. Like they want to plant seeds, Six of Pentacles. They're sharing with you why they are the way that they are. Um... There's a lot of, I think there's a lot of judgment on their part. Like there's a lot of critiquing things, overanalyzing things, maybe even shutting you out based on their own analyzations here, which don't feel like they're based on their intuition, by the way. It feels like they're based on their emotions, their past. Um, so they're, they're learning how to react and respond better is basically what I feel here. And they want some kind of life with you. They want to plant new seeds with you. Six of cups. What's going on with that? But they are trying to express to you a little bit better. And there is like a making up, like there is a, um, I don't really want to call it a making up, but there's a um, understanding that's being had between you and a family member here as well. Three of Cups, definitely a reunion with a past person here. Seven of Swords or attempted reunion. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, the Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune showing up. Six of Cups is a card of the past, Will of Fortune is a card of a return, and the Three of Cups is reunion, coming together, celebration, harvest. All these cards have different meanings too. However, they all, <laughs> um, it's, it's weird that they're all showing up here because they can mean that same thing. You have the Seven of Swords, what's going on with this? They can all mean a return, so it's strange that they're all showing up if that's not what this is. 
the Seven of Swords about the devil. This is a toxic energy. I'm sorry. Um, like this, this person, they can definitely, like, I, I feel like you're dealing with a lot of different energies here. Because this doesn't feel like this one here. This doesn't feel like this one right here. This feels like somebody from your distant past. And they're definitely not awake. They're definitely not conscious. Like, they're... Queen of Wands, like they're, I think they're just thinking about you. They're reminiscing here, possibly on, um, it's like a sexual encounter here, or some kind of passionate conversation. They're wanting something back from you, is basically the energy that I feel here. Um, so yeah, I would be super, super careful if that part resonates. If that part comes true, be very careful with that person, because they can just suck you right back in, and away from that good energy that you're working towards. So Aries, please be careful. Um, I do hope that this was helpful, and I hope that you'll watch out for your other signs. But if this is where we part, thank you for watching and supporting me, and you enjoy your week. Bye.